Shalom, brothers and sisters. Just a word. I want to talk about fasting. Fasting and prayer. There are some among us who are sickly. Our spirits are down. We're going through different challenges. Some of us are under spiritual attack. Be it in our minds, in our lives, in our bodies, we are under attack. One of the things that Yeshua told his disciples is certain demons, certain demonic attacks can only be removed through fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. Now, there are various fasts that people do. Some people to abstain from food and drink. Some people abstain from sexual activity. I know that when the Israelites were called to the holy mountain, they were not supposed to have sexual relations. Uh, as a matter of fact, there, there are different fasts where some people, even in the book of Daniel, he would not eat the delicate foods. They were vegetarians. There are other fasts, a lot of fasts. But one of the things I want to say is many people, in order to have spiritual breakthroughs, you need to do a fast. That fast can be, I would not suggest for many people due to their health, that you abstain from all food and water. I would not suggest that. One of the fasts that I've begun is a juice fast, a juice fast. And if you have a juicer, you can take different vegetables, um, different fruits, and you juice them. When you get a juicer, or you can also use a blender, okay? And when you do this, remember, God says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first, and all things shall be added unto you, whatever you have need of. Seek ye the kingdom of heaven first. What does that mean? You dedicate the fast to God. You dedicate the fast to the Most High. You read his word. And in order to gain some self-discipline, not saying you don't have it, this is just to assist one another in the struggle, to encourage, to edify the body. All of us need edification. Um, and it's very good for your health. All right. Do a juice fast. When you juice, you go and get, you can put in tomatoes, you can put in, uh, a lot of fruits have their, their water-based, cantaloupe, melon, grapes, uh, blackberries, um, bananas, if you're not allergic, oranges, you can put in pears, um, what you will find the first three days, and I'm doing a seven-day fast with intent to carry it to 14, but my goal right now is to just see it through seven straight days, okay? Um, I've done one before. I did it for 30 days, but I also know that you can experience significant weight loss. So um, my goal is 14, but right now I'm starting with seven, seven straight days. And I've dedicated the fast to the most high, fasting and praying. And I'm also fasting for the release of Israel, for our awakening, for our strengthening, for one another, for more clarity. One of the things you're going to find out when you begin your fast, brothers and sisters, is that um, some people get headaches. I never got headaches. Um, you may experience the body cleansing itself the first couple days. You may um, get the runs, but normally that passes. And then what you find is you start getting more energy. Um, your face, your skin gets better. You start losing weight. You don't even have to try. It just comes off. You will literally feel it. It also opens you up it, it brings you closer spiritually you're more focused okay 
One of the things in the book of James, it says a man looks at himself in the mirror, then he goes away and forgets what manner of man that he is. What does that mean? After looking into the perfect law, he forgets what manner of man he is. Many of us, just through the bombardments of this world, going through struggles, going through worries, going through stress and strain, we need to get centered again, and we're trying to figure out how to center ourselves. Well, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So while you're doing this fast, you also need to read your word daily. You have to have that spiritual food to build the body up. Okay, but I'm doing a fast. I've read where there are some people. I've got to pause this for a moment. I got to turn the air on. It's hot. Yes. One of the other things I wanted to say when the disciples were with Jesus and they were trying to cast out certain demons and they couldn't. They didn't understand why the demons were not responding to them. And Yeshua told them these demons only respond where you have fasting and prayer. You have to do fasting and prayer. Okay? So, certain things, certain forces in your life, certain depressions that are on you, and you're wondering why why isn't this thing moving? Why isn't this thing breaking? Some of us need to do a fast. Again, you can do juicing. If you don't have a juicer, you can use a blender. Normally what I do after I get the juice uh, from either the juicer or the blender, once I have it in a container, I normally, you, you got to shake it up because you're going to see the pulp separate from the juice below. You shake it up and then you pour into a container. This is what you're going to be drinking or consuming. Two thirds of the juice, one third water, and you're going to drink that. What you're going to find out is you're actually getting full. But you also feel better. You feel better. You start getting your clarity, your energy. Anybody that has a weight issue, the weight issues go away. Many times, a lot of your medical issues, um, high blood pressure, different diabetic issues that you're dealing with, they start resolving themselves because... You are taking control by giving the control back to God. All right. One of the other things that you have to do is remember, as a man think of so shall he be. So set the mark in your mind. I am doing this spiritual fast because I'm dedicating myself and my body unto the most high. And you're going to see results. In many cases, shocking results. Shocking results. A lot of people, like I said, that are going through depression. They're going through different issues. They can't focus. They don't understand why. You are fasting. One of the other things you need to do, brothers and sisters, while you fast is leave those things behind that so easily beset us. And what do I mean? You decree and declare over your life that I am a child of the Most High God, made in His image, made in His image. And a lot of those demonic attacks, you're not going to look at yourself like the way your family taught you that you were, the way some of us think that we are because of self-esteem issues, because of problems we had with outside forces. You're going to see yourself through the eyes of the Most High God. Let the Lord Almighty open the eyes of the blind so that you see you are made in His image. And as a person think of, so shall they be. You put that image in your mind that I'm a child of the Most High God and I am capable of doing this. Remember, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all those other things shall be added unto you. All those things. The prayer of a righteous man availeth much, even to the casting down of strongholds, spiritual strongholds. Some of us have spiritual strongholds in our lives. We're trying to break them, but we don't know how. Fasting and prayer, they're demonic forces, brothers and sisters. Fasting and prayer. Again, if you don't have a juicer, which many people don't, and that's fine, you can use a blender. You can use a blender. And what you're trying to get is the juice, the juice. You can even send it through a strainer. If you put it in a blender, you 
pour it through a strainer or a colander because what you want is the juice from it. You want the juice, okay? Again, I'm doing this fast for my first portion is seven days. That's my goal. The first one will be seven days. I've already begun. But my intentions is to go 14. Many of you who take on this fast, you're going to notice that after the first seven, the, the, the weight's just, if you have weight issues or weight concerns, the weight is also going to come off of you quickly. You're going to end up with more energy. Your mindset will get clearer. Your skin will get clearer. You will feel better. And many of us need this, brothers and sisters. We also need to fast from a lot of the demonic forces of this world. And what do I mean? What we're feeding our minds. Some of us, we look at anything on the television, be it horror, be it murder. And while you fast, fast from these things. If you make a mistake, if you fall, if, if you eat something, don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. It's just like if you fell down, you get back up. Okay, you get back up and you keep going. But right now, brothers and sisters, I, I'm listening to the different struggles that a lot of us are going through. And many people don't know what to do. Fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer. And when you don't know what to pray, because some of us, we find ourselves praying repetitiously. Okay, you pray in the spirit. What is that? Praying in tongues. Many of us can speak in tongues and don't know it. You just start talking and the spirit of the most high God will come upon you. And when you're praying in tongues, know that that prayer is a conversation from your spirit straight to the ear of God. It will edify you and build you up. So, again, I'm doing a fast. I've listened to different people, whether they're suffering through depression, whether they feel like they plateaued, and they're just having a problem moving up. He takes us from glory to glory and victory to victory. And remember, a lot of people may not understand what you're doing. They may not agree with what you're doing, but it doesn't matter. Because the things that the world holds in high esteem, a lot of times God finds an abomination, okay? You're doing this fast in order to break many spiritual strongholds to cast out demons in your life. You may come upon somebody who has a demon stronghold in their life and find out through prayer and fasting, God can, in fact, hear your fervent and effectual prayer. Remember, the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. So, many of us, again, who, some of the young ladies, as well as some of the young men, you might not be able to get the clarity you want. Your mind may seem clouded. You may not be able to focus the way you want. Well, that juice fast will do wonders. It will do wonders, and you're not doing it alone. I'm doing it with you for those of you who determined to do it. As a matter of fact, I don't know how many people know about Produce Junction or if there's a Produce Junction near you where you can go and get fruit and vegetables um, where they're relatively cheap. Brothers and sisters, you be encouraged. I just wanted to share this because I am doing this juice fast and I felt as though the brothers and sisters needed to know it because it is helpful. It is helpful. It will build up the spirit and the body. Okay, and let all things be done in order. Remember, you seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all things will be added unto you. And just like Yeshua said, there are some demonic strongholds. They can't be broken by prayer alone, but prayer and fasting. And for some of you, due to health reasons, I would not suggest abstaining from food and water for endless days. I would say do a juice fast, a juice fast. Okay, you have a lot of vegetables and fruits that are very, they, they, they have a great water base to them. They have a very strong water base. As a matter of fact, before I go, uh, one of the things I was using, I was using grapes, cantaloupes, honeydew, um, pears, the box pears, they're brown. I was also using bananas um, and, I'm and blackberries. 
I'm going back because I'm going to put tomatoes in it. I'm also going to get some carrots and some green leafy vegetables. Uh, it adds iron, okay, for those of you that can take it. And remember, once you make that container of juice, once you make it, you're going to see if you sit it down, it will separate, okay, the pulp or, or the, I don't even know the name of it, but you'll see it separate. You're going to shake it up. And when you pour it into a container for you to drink, two-thirds of the juice and one-third water, that's what you're going to do. Two-thirds juice, one-third water. It's a seven-day fast. And anyone who wants to join with me, may the most high be with you because we need a cleansing. This also detoxifies your body, um, but you're going to see a result. You're going to see a result. And the first portion of this fast, brothers and sisters, is seven days. Seven days. Okay? You be at peace. Shalom.